And we're back. I actually kept my promise and we're streaming high on life. Consistency is building, promises are kept. I really plan on finishing this game. So, uh, yeah, the moment of truth. Can he keep a simple promise, a commitment? I have two weeks off of work, so I imagine it's quite doable. But, uh, you know, all right. No, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I like this game. That's the thing. This is kind of a more mainstream game, but it's got a sense of humor. Joy, for sure. Um, that's his volume. Oh, yeah, I want to put my headphones too for the audios. Good and everything. Oh, I woke up this morning. No, I was a little bit uh, tired. But I popped a bit of caffeine. The addiction continues. Um, and then I watched Adam Conover. Uh, what was it? Elon Musk sucks and so does everyone else, basically. Uh, I like to see Adam Conover still doing stuff. He was on the Hasanabe's uh, Twitter. Or not Twitter. Twitch. Got Twitter on the brinks of Elon. And, um, yeah, I hope he becomes, like, a more involved ally uh, to leftist politics. Uh, but it's good to see him going on other talk shows and rounding himself out. He's a little rough around the edges. Um, he's not very good at improv. I mean, I'm probably not either, but I'm just saying as constructive criticism, uh, Adam Conover could probably improve his improv. Uh, I mean that because I care about him, right? Like, here's the thing. Here, 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 this is a random aside, but in my opinion, if you don't care about someone at all, you're never going to give them any criticism because you just don't give a shit. You want them to fail. So, like, the best thing you can do is ignore them out of spite. But if you do care, uh, you know, people who care a lot will give, like, criticism to a certain degree, right? There's a way to put it that makes sense. I say that as I'm sure some chatters out there will get right under my skin immediately at some point. So, easy to say that when you're on your high horse, right? Okay. Let's boot her up. Um, I believe mine's the second one. Everything's working, that's awesome. I believe we're having a Christmas get together at my place soon. It should be pretty fun. We should play some board games, shoot the shit. That'd be nice. Uh, we gotta buy. So I believe we're going back to the pawnbroker. Bounty hunter extraordinaire, Jimbo. That's my name now, Jimbo. On the case in the space race. Boy, are they? Hey, uh, oh, hey there. Hi. Somebody's watching my stream. Amazing. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Uh, we're gonna have a little Christmas to get together later at my place, so I'm looking forward to that. Um. I'm really liking this game so far. It's got a wicked sense of humor. I have to buy this, but I'm never gonna use it. And I'm broke. Oh, wait, no, I'm not broke. I can afford it. I gotta hold it. Yeah, after watching Game Grumps and then playing this, uh, I realized that it's so much harder to follow basic instructions while you're streaming because you're thinking about other stuff, for sure. Yo, let me buy the dodge unit. Confirmed. Oh, I have to. Yeah, I don't need this. Come on. Yeah, so all I know about it is that. It's capitalist dystopia future, everything's fucked. We've got their guy from Rick and Morty. Basically, it's like past caustic ban banter between characters with like some gunplay in between to like 
provide breaks. Like, it's all about the dialogue and the, the jokes and stuff. Which, uh, I'm all about. That sounds so, like fun. I'm enjoying it, so... Okay, we have to go back to the house. Thank God for objectives. We got Scatterbrain you can still play. Sure, whatever. Yes, the Colombian gangs. I'm totally ready to take on the entire Colombian gang, or whatever the space equivalent of that is. Rude. I care if you live or die, Gene. Sort of. Kind of. You seem alright. You're like more honest than not honest. I'll put, I'll, that's the best compliment I can give them. Yeah, that is true. I can't think of any games that kind of do that off the top of my head. I guess Half Life sort of has it a bit, but um, this game reminds me of Bioshock, but with more of like an updated uh, sense of humor. Let's just go to our mission. Uh, I'm thinking Krubus. He's lame, but all the more reason to kill him in my opinion. I think uh, I've only seen a little bit of this game because my brother played it and it was enough to get me into it. So it's mostly blind. Holy crap, that's loud. Uh, I can't hear them talking. That's why I got the subs on, I guess, so whatever. You know, but I do, you know, the jungle noises are nice. Loud, but nice. Oh, sir. Oh, this guy. This motherfucker. Earlier in the game, they uh, had like a snotty kid come up to you, and I guess there was an option to shoot him. Oh, it's not for the PlayStation? How dare they? Well, you got uh, Ragnarok, so I guess you can't complain, right? What's he talking about? Ah! My, my butt! My back! Oh my god, never mind. Okay. This is why I have it on easy mode, I'm so distracted. They look kind of tasty, like they got like a crab look to them, like you would definitely want to boil it. And uh... Eat, eat it, eat, eat, eat them. Alright, does that say something about me? I want to eat every alien, pretty much. Yeah. Fucking everything in games makes me hungry and it annoys me greatly. Okay, right. It's basic video game stuff. Oh, money, I don't care, it's on easy mode. Yo, if you're gonna fuck around killing aliens, I'm gonna try to be useful too and look for mom and dad. Uh huh, uh huh. We don't need them anymore. They probably left because they hate us. I literally have no idea where to start though. Oh, so you want me to? Walk around outside. Um, that's better than nothing. Almost. Oh, you're not gonna instant. Oh, they do. They do teleport you back to the top. It's a bit of a tricky one. It's easy once you get the hang of it, but. Yeah, so this is, this is Central America. We're in Central America, a hundred percent. We got pesos, we got the jungle, with like rocky terrain. I don't know what country this might be specifically, but. Uh, how does the story start in this game? The very beginning is like a, a debate. But, um, 
the basic premise is uh, your your house gets teleported to uh, cyberpunk space alien city, but with lower graphics. It's just kidding. And like um, you, your 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 humans are essentially a drug that the aliens like to smoke, and the Colombian the Colombian gangs, the G three in here, are coming in to turn you all into space weed or whatever they do. And then you power trip and listen to uh, goofy characters the whole game. They have a violent uh, Australian stereotype guy as well. I don't know how to pull him out. So he won't talk to me. That's what I like about you, man. You uh, don't. You don't, you don't go around uh, embarrassing people for no reason. What a nice guy. In Kenny Ward base, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, I love clicking on heads. It's my only purpose in life. Yeah, I, I got set the easy mode because I'm here for the story. I do. I, I think most people agree that the gameplay is not. It's nothing cutting edge, but it's basically there to base out the uh, dialogue. Well, which uh, that makes sense to me. It's story and dialogue first. Get off on this man. I guess you are a gun. It makes sense, but uh, a little questionable maybe. Out of my face, dude. Wow, my only friend is a gun. Here's a fun fact about me. Um, I don't like putting my name out on the internet because I feel like it'll get blackballed from work if you talk too much politics online, but, um... Uh... I will say that I am named after a gun, which I do not like. <laughs> so my parents decided to go with for their inspiration. So I just always found that hilarious. Little piece of advice, don't do that to your kid. <laughs> I think it's funny though. Uh what's this? More entertaining than stimulating. Yeah. Watching everybody getting enslaved. Yeah, it does suck, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Um, a Western revolver, yeah. But I won't tell you my name because I'm afraid to get blackballed. Uh, I look legitimately afraid that, like, you'll get less work if you... That's why I use an alias. Maybe if I'm very big. What are you named? You're named as a dare? That's pretty goofy. I knew somebody who was named after a video game character. Yeah, I think that would be, like, not too bad. I think his name was Caden, but he didn't know what video game character it was, so... <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, I got a dash here. Him. I don't want to. I didn't care. Oh, he wanted me to. I'm bike. me sad. I must erase you because the game only gave me a gun and I don't know how to be nice to people. Okay. 
Statesman? Did he call me? Is that a slur? What? Oh, they like getting killed? I don't, I don't understand. the hospital my uncle's car he said they only do it one day after the person he bullied no shot is that true that's pretty epic if it is true yeah oh i believe it Yeah, my father was, um, he's a pretty decent guy, but he was like, he, he, he didn't like, he, he's American, right? I live in Canada. He wasn't a huge fan of America, but he very much had the mindset of like, you gotta be an entrepreneur to succeed. Um, and like, I think he was very unhappy when he adopted it so aggressively. This is very interesting. Um, I think the way that you approach your life in that way can definitely kind of determine your course and your fate in a lot of ways. Like if you pick on, like, I don't know, I don't want to speak for your story too much because you know more about it than me, but like, I think, I guess if you pick on people with learning disabilities, it's like, eventually the chickens come home to roost, right? For my dad, it was like, he spent so much time trying to make his business work that I think he didn't do anything he actually wanted to do. And he like lived in a very uh, fancy land where he liked to scheme about like the best way to like make money or whatever. He just thought if he had like the right idea, he would um everything would work out. Ever if you've ever read Death of a Salesman, it's a play. Uh, it's ex my dad's exactly like that character, but he was an okay guy. So. Just, I mean, we all have flaws. I find it more like funny in a dark humor sort of way than anything. But yeah, it's definitely a big problem with them. I gotta check my audio once in a while because things blow up on me. I haven't seen him in like 17 years though, or something like that. How long has it been? Nah, it's too long. It's like, uh, let me do the math. 12 years. <laughs> oh yeah. Speak to the mop list. Oh, that's actually a quest I wanted to do. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, so this whole situation reminds me so much of uh, what's going on in Jamaica right now with the um, the lithium mining and stuff. They're having the same issue where it's just like they will just set up mines like right next to children's schools and stuff. And like normally in North America, if you mine resources, because the government is allowed to do that, they pay the people there so that they can uh, either move or like compensate them for their you know, the fact that they're mining 10 feet from them. But in Jamaica, they don't get, they get nothing. It's so funny. So, and Jamaica has a long history of um, 
revolting against stuff like that, so like, it's becoming like quite the call to action. Yeah. Because Jamaica actually, um, in the past, I don't know when exactly, a couple hundred years ago maybe, they kicked, I believe it was the French, I could be wrong, but they kicked the French out and they actually won. They're one of the few uh, countries that actually managed to like kick the butts of their slave owners. So it'd be like, a, I guess, of the Moblets here. <laughs> it's a bad example, but if they like managed to get rid of the G3 or whatever. So it's a big deal, but yeah. Of course, uh, nowadays there's, there's totally different people are in power. It definitely makes me a lot very concerned because I, I feel like now that the U.S. is out of Afghanistan, it's like, okay, I kind of feel like they've they've not been in a war very, very little, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know much about that. You know why they're wanting to leave, or...? I don't really care about Kerbis, he's probably a dweeb. Is Skinhead Wreck a uh, reference to train wrecks by any chance? <laughs> collectibles but it's honestly all boxes of pesos and I don't really care because the game doesn't force me to uh, do that. Like crystals from the warp drive and the warp bases. Yeah, I do know. The only thing I know about Britain is that they're uh, they're developing a lot of like the same corporate and banking structures the U.S. has been doing, and their like global investment like portfolio and stuff has been expanding a lot. Um, people have, like claimed it's like another kind of like softer colonialism that they're doing, but you know uh, that's probably no surprise. There's still a lot of like power there. Sure, this guy won't be too much of a bother. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, it did work. That was the most jury rigged. Uh, well, Western Canada. Yeah, we're typically like Western Canada is dominated by um, oil monopolies. Essentially, if you ever play Outer Worlds, we're pretty much exactly like that. No, I look like a dumbass. I mean, more than usual. Yeah, 
Yeah. The thing about the uh, oil in Canada is that uh, a lot of the money from it gets sucked out, so we almost don't really see a lot of it reinvested. Yeah, yeah. This guy's so hateable, what the heck? A jungle seems but you know. It rolls off the tongue, I guess, at least. Wait, keep moving. You're afraid I'm gonna shoot you, huh? Uh, I see how it is. It's so annoying. Oh my god, please. Oh, please stop. I don't want to buy anything, man. I don't care. I don't need upgrades. Just put it on easy mode, man. You don't need it. So bad, yo. He's late for his big day, folks. Oh, uh, what games have I played recently? I play... I just finished, um, Omori pretty recently. Uh... Yeah, I like psychological horror, horror games, and got some goofy stuff. You gotta, you gotta switch it up sometimes. Sir, sir. Sir, yep. this, this, is, this is a jungle, sir. Stop shooting at me. I think they're trying to kill me. They're not trying to kill you. They're trying to kill everybody. That's just delusion. Okay, maybe they're trying to kill me, specifically. Could be the case. be the mansion. It's also teleported in. Is this like a uh, Beverly Hills reference here? Oh, it's concrete. It's got kind of a brutalist style architecture. Um, it's pretty interesting. Oh, cactus. Okay, so this is probably Las Vegas kind of architecture here, I imagine. Got the cactus, the very like minimalistic, but still kind of like nature's inside as well. Yeah, I like Las Vegas architecture, but I'm sure a lot of dipshits like live there. Because <laughs> it's like very superficial. I don't know. Then again, I think Sakuno lives in Las Vegas, and I guess I don't think he's a dipshit, so. <laughs> yeah, it's desert, right? <laughs> it's the drug, dead drug things. Yeah, yeah. That's gross. Uh, no, man. 
Oh look, the fake books that nobody reads. What did they say? Oh, you can't read them. That's unfortunate. They're all in leather though. I love it when they put like uh, books in games to see what the goofy titles are. I can't jump in here. Oh, you're infringing on my jumping right. Uh, that's pretty tacky. <laughs> it's got the rug of hurdles. Gross, dude. Well, I watched an old Charlie Chaplin skit where, like, he's a painter who goes into a rich person's house. And, um, he's, like, splattering paint on all the stuff. And they, like, accuse him of stealing things. Uh, so he pretends to, like, check, to check, um, you know, he, like, puts his, like, pocket watch and he, like, he puts it in his pocket and ties his pocket shut to like imply that they might steal from him to like get back at them for like accusing him of being a thief. And he also, there's a rug, like this Virgo rug, which has just got like a bear head on it. Everyone constantly trips over it the whole time. Such a riot. Uh, I don't wanna talk to you. I'm sure he's, you know, I don't hate this table. It's not the worst design. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna rip the bench. I don't like. I'm not love the table. Just give it credit where it's due. Actually, you know what? This place in general looks pretty nice, actually. But it's very like. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Anyway, so. Yeah, the you can't put any legs under it. What is that? I know. Someone who designed it obviously can really know what they're doing there. It's funny. What is this? Is this alien erotica art? Do I want to know? It's repulsive and fascinating at the same time. I, I can't. I can't. I gotta look away. What are you talking about? So you're like basically a drug addle tech frat boy, is that or no, maybe not. Get close where. Yeah. Ryan, you're in the way. Yeah. That's uh, I'm gonna pull an air and hands and not read that, I guess. I'm that branch you Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's gonna be even better than the one on platform twelve. Trust me, man. Are you like uh, the cryptocurrency dude in SBF who just like evaporated with everyone's money? I bet that guy wish he had like a teleportation device. I'm sure you've been to Delarmo Land before, part of the flagship platform 12 location, but buddy, you would not believe the regulations we had to abide by over there. Real motherfucking stealers. Yep. Here's the, he's out in the secrets here, folks. <laughs> The secret is, is that laws in other countries are very lax, which is why it's hugely profitable to be a global capitalist. And that's why the economy works that way. It's just legal arbitrage. They're searching for, you know, better, better labor laws, worse labor laws, so they can uh, pay, you know, I mean, a classic example of that is the 1.6 million debt slaves they have in India, right? Yeah, there's a lot of people who, like, the the people pushing cryptocurrency, they want to leave when it's, like, um, at its peak, right? So it's really in their best interest to basically evaporate as soon as they can or do pump and dumps. It's speculative, right? This guy's still talking. I should, should I listen to him? Uh-huh. I can't believe he's still talking. I didn't hear any of this. What's going on? That's a snap real cool, man. That shit was like, I don't know, 20 years ago, man. That's how long we've known each other. He used to be a real wild man before he turned into such a freaking stodger, you know? Ooh, that got clean. Ooh, that got sober. <laughs> All paperwork and shift management. I mean, crew, man. You this is me when I'm on my caffeine, but when I'm off my caffeine, oh boy, it's different. Uh, is there anything else to say? Yeah, I, I can imagine you're sweating. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> oh, he stopped. Whoa. 
What's he got in his head there? Is that a hairpiece or? Oh, it's like a brain port. That's to get the the Fergal directly to the brain cells. He smoke Fergals because that's how you traditionally do it. But anywho, he didn't find anything. Oh, shock Pikachu face. Didn't find anything over here. Oh, now she's on the alien dating scene. Okay, cool. His name's Twee. Maybe that's cool in Alien, I don't know. I'm not gonna judge that. Don't judge me, I'm allowed to have coffee. Why would I judge you? What? Probably, maybe aliens work differently, right? Oh god. Press E. This game is very much in the keep it simple stupid with the gameplay, which, you know, very streamable. Normally I'd be like, better gameplay would be nice, but for streaming this is like perfect. As I just mispress the button, which is on almost everything. Great work! Wow, wasn't that fun? Okay, see you later. I'm diving right back into Gene's old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. Gene have good porn? I wonder. Hey, I'm locked in here. Why couldn't they get the voice actor for Trevor in here? <laughs> what are these, these doing? What is this, Hasanabi's channel? The Yo Mama jokes are coming out? He won't die at some point. No need to butter me up. Yikes. Grand Savior. That should have been my Twitch title. Grand Savior. That, that, that sounds good. Making friends. I love how the moplets are like just licks his lips. The most like cute and yet disgusting. They're not. They're not disgusting. They're like cute, but like in a very sad way. Um, mining site. We'll use the the baby pointer thing. Because I don't have patience to actually find it.
flow. Yep, the audio just loves to drop randomly. That's a continue ongoing issue. One day I'll get that figured out, but it's how it is. Looks like I got two mics going right now. Let's fix that. Yo, you're kicking me while I'm down, little guy. What is this? Yeah, let's get the video coming back on here. Oh, you're welcome, little guy. Okay, we're back again. Wow. I wonder how much I lost there. It's always a mystery. That's fucking funny, man. Makes me look like a dumbass, even though it's uh, basically totally random. It just drops whenever it feels like it. I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna fix that right now, cause like I'm doing the live stream, so it takes away too much from it. But yeah, I'll have to get that ironed out. I'm gonna do some troubleshooting. It's hard to tell, cause there's nothing that causes it. There's no pop up or anything. It just randomly drops. Oh, fuck. Ugh. This is where I belong, in the sludge. I deserve it. Okay. I believe... Okay, I get it. Can we reset that or is it gonna... We did it. Whoa. Nice. Man, I wonder how much got dropped there. Like... It's so sad. I'll have to fix that. Fix it. <laughs> Figure out what's causing it. It's the only real main problem. I'm definitely the new boss. Yep, that's what's going on here. Thanks. Yeah, you gotta have a sense of humor in the uh, old office hellscape. You're, are you glued to the chair? Is that? I love how, like, the moblets that have jobs, like, look a little less worn out than the other moblets. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh boy, paperwork. That's my greatest fear. Oh, it's button pressing. Yo. Is this the action we all tuned in for? I'm done. Is there more? Oh, you gotta put it over here? Okay, got it. Did I mention I'm good at paperwork? Because uh, if I did, I was lying, and I apologize. I've definitely worked some office jobs. It's it's a lot like this. It's just uh, mindless copying, and nobody cares unless you make a mistake. No, no. Oh, at least they're honest. At least these moblets are slightly better than slaves, so it can't be that bad, right? This is literally our entire economy. It's like meaningless office jobs, or you're just like, you know, labor with like no hope of getting enough money to move forward.
At least I have a shield. That might help. Is there something wrong with me? I was just about to say that. I was like, is there something wrong with me? But this is kind of... To be fair, I'm not working very fast. At least you're trying. That sounds about right. Definitely sounds about right. Third stack. No, I don't think it is because you expect the third stack. Although... Maybe it's irony. Yeah. It dropped some audio. I think the I was talking about Elon Musk while it dropped. He is absolutely destroying the company. Um I think the biggest problem with it is that because he bought it for such an overpriced value, the loans that he's got put into the company gives him like a billion dollars he has to pay in like um, payments per year. And since Twitter is not uh, profitable at all, yeah, I got it. Like tw Twitter is just not been profitable. I think it loses three, seven million a year, which is not uncommon at all for sure. but. I'm just absorbed in this. Oh. <laughs> Love how they just have characters in here that are all like in relationships. And they're just like in the background. Randomly. And like, you think there's going to be drama and there just isn't. You're in your mind palace. Yeah, I do that when I'm at work too, but it's not to solve mysteries. It's to uh, distract myself from the monotony, more like. How's that audio? Yeah, I really gotta get that fixed. I don't want to whinge about it forever, but this is like the third time, and I thought maybe it was just um, something else causing it, but... We make good drugs. Yep. I wouldn't know, but I just assumed that. If I was on a multiple choice, I would have picked, yeah, humans make drugs. Maybe grind them up or whatever. I'll just check that off. Okay. Can I? Nice. Press backspace X. Okay. Check out these books. They're blank. They're all blank. That's an egg or something. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. I was watching Hassan. He has like these leaked videos of Elon Musk uh, doing interviews with uh, some of the software engineers. And they'll tell him like basic facts about stuff and uh, he'll get them muted on the mic. It's so funny. Like Elon will be like, oh, we need to you know, get the advertisements doing click-through rate as opposed to impressions. And the software engineer will be like, well, that's an option we offer to the clients. They can do impressions or click-through rate. And he's just like, 
gets him muted immediately for disagreeing with him. So funny. Like, yeah, dude. I mean, you could force them to do one or the other, but they might not want that. I like a song pointed out. It's like, yeah, sometimes companies go for uh, impressions instead because their inventory is out, and they're not. They don't want to sell. They just want to increase their brand image, right? Is it this, like, I keep getting Xbox pop-ups. Is that what's causing it? I can shoot, I swear. What could be causing the audio dropping? I'll figure it out. I really should focus on that one. I just want to stream, yo. Where's my, where's my crew that uh, manages all that for me? Where's my editor? All right, I got a... Right. Yo, look at these guys. They're revolting. Um, against, against the G3, of course. They're not. They're a little ugly in a cute way, but... I wouldn't call them revolting. Absconded. Accurate. Well, hilarious. That's not gonna work. Well, that would work anyways. They were talking about um, a negotiation that was going on between Russia and the U.S. recently, where. Uh, somebody was a tour in there and they brought like a tiny bag of weed and they got thrown in prison for like ever and the u.s was like trading her for someone called the merchant of death and um charlie was trying to make the point where like uh that they should have traded the merchant of death for someone more important and uh i think I don't know who pointed it out, but uh, I think it was his song, and he was like, yeah, that dude trades arms with the USA. He's not actually a Russian agent. The only reason Russia wants him is to debrief him. He's not that valuable for them. The Merchant of Death is like a US title for him, so it's not even like, he's not known for that there. It's not funny. I just think, like, I think Charlie's an alright dude, but... I think his take on that was way too... It's, like, so nationalistic. It's like, oh, it's fine. Like, the, the problem is we didn't get enough for our country. I'm like, mm -hmm. it's, That's a uh, interesting way to think about it. Like, it matters. Like, at the end of the day, um, boosting the U.S.'s espionage power really benefits nobody. Not even the U.S. citizens. Like, I think that's just a mistake in logic. Yeah, it's like, yeah, of course, we want the CIA and the FBI to be more powerful. I have huge beef with the freaking uh, FBI now because they shut down Z-Books, which was, like, the best source of free information on the internet. That freaking annoys me. That's what got me through school, is I just, you know, downloaded all my textbooks from there. It's great if you want, like, actual information and sources. It's the best thing. You can still go to Z-Books, though, with, like, um, the Tor browser or like an onion browser and whatever. So it doesn't really matter, but it's, they're such jackasses though. Um. Yeah, that's the funny thing. People rip on China for being so censorious. We literally have people like Elon Musk banning people for just mildly disagreeing with them. Uh, wait, I think that's really ironic. When China also has a website like ZBooks, which just has, and it's it's hosted in China, and it has just free textbooks on it. But obviously, it's like pirating. I guess you shouldn't do that. I can't recommend that I'm on the internet. It's illegal, but, um, but it's like, dude, they're textbooks. It's like, that information should be, like, you shouldn't have to be behind a paywall to get legitimate information, right? That's pretty fucked up. 
or whatever. Like, yes, if you're using it as a professional researcher and writer, you should probably pay if you're going to be citing in an article. That's fine. But, like, the average layman? Are you kidding me? Like, you know, oh, you got to learn, you know, whatever you want just on YouTube, right? And, like, YouTube's a great source for learning, but it's nice to also have high-quality textbooks, especially if you can download them as a PDF. It's immensely helpful. And, yeah, like I said, it's hosted in China. Everyone's like, oh, China's so censorious. And it's like, you know, interesting fact about that that really changed my opinion on it was that um, in China, 30% or more, I think 30% or more, it's at least 30% has a VPN. And it bypasses any, any like Chinese firewall filtering. It's not like they filter stuff, right? And you can just look up whatever you want. You can go any website, Twitter, Facebook, it doesn't matter. So like a third of the pop, and they don't, they don't make an active effort to stop that. The only thing that China filters is uh, all the stupid bullshit Western advertising and constantly gets shoved down their throats. It's like, and to be quite frank, I, I consider it brainwashing. And what else do you call that? Like Google does not care. Google does not care if, um, like, their top result is accurate. Like, they will literally have articles that are, you know, on their top results if you search up something that have been completely factually disproven, that have sources that legitimately have said, no, we never said that. But they're still, like, top hits because they're popular and they sell advertising, right? So Google does not care about any of that. So it's, it's like, and people are like, well, filtering, that's filtering free speech. And I'm like, uh-huh. But it's like mostly advertisers that are up there. Like, that's, that's not the free speech, like, who cares? I mean, Google search engine is, like, very good, but they've become so commerce-focused that, like, everything else has gone out the window. That's just, obviously, that was going to happen. Everybody knew that was going to happen, eventually. A classic example is if you look up, um, do most people who win the lottery lose their money? You will see a lot of articles that cite uh, like the gambling mission of like the U.S. or something like that. And if you go to that web page, it's like a dead link. And I do know that it used to be that on that website that the link literally says that like, no, we've never said this. There's no evidence that we have that says this. But you'll find tons of even like the New York Times and shit. Just quote it. They just they circle jerk the information around, and they just keep quoting other dumb articles without even a real source. And that's how it works. And Google just pushes them to the top because it sounds good. People want to hear that millionaire lottery winners lose their money because it enforces the idea that like, oh, but I'm smarter. I would not do that. You know, it's like if only I had like a leg up, I would be better. And like being rich is because of merit or some shit. Like, that's why I love I love Elon Musk, because I hope Elon Musk becomes the Marie Antoinette of our generation, where he's such a dumbass during such a trying time for people that people just grow to, like, hate him as, like, a meme, as a symbol. Like, that's basically what happened to Marie Antoinette, right? Like, he's such a dumbass and so tyrannical that I, I can only hope that people are just like, okay, you know, the, the joke's over, we get it. The curtain's been lifted. We can't unsee this now. I don't know. Or maybe the U.S.'s empire thing will last for another thousand years like Rome did. I don't know. Whatever. I can't see the future. Speculation, right? This is so, this is exactly how um, U.S. Uh, resource extraction works. Like, they just find the local, like, dictator or prince or whatever, and they make them, like, really happy with action movie VHS tapes and, like, bowls of coke. And then they just do whatever they want with, like, the local populace. This is such, like, a thing. 
This is also exactly the reason why the aristocracy and like rich people in general, generally speaking and historically, uh, spend so much effort trying to make themselves look like they have like more noble traits, like good education, um, like uh, art, artness, uh, fashion sense, and stuff like that. Um, and in our generation, they have to look like they're Iron Man, so like cartoon characters. Because otherwise, it looks like this, and it's very questionable. It's like, okay, if it becomes too obvious that you're no better than the average mortal and you're ruling, then, I mean, people might get some funny ideas. They might start thinking, okay, well, why don't we just ignore you and do whatever we want a little bit? Because, like, surely we can do something more interesting or better. I mean, let's be honest here. Like, this guy right here is just basically what Elon Musk actually is. All right? Except he role plays as a factory worker and sleeps on the factory floor once in a blue moon. What a joker. Oh my god, Prince Chosen One. Oh, boot licking time. Just trying to fit in. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> it's uh it's I'm too too used to boot looking in real life. It's too real, bro. I'm trying to escape from reality. He told us to do it. I, I like this guy. He's probably at least slightly better than this asshole. Oh, yeah. I don't know of anyone out there, but uh, Elon Musk did the Twitter poll where he said he would step down and abide by it. And the Twitter poll actually said, yes, you should step down. Of course, he didn't, though. I think his tweet was something, like, snotty, like, um, oh, but nobody wants the job. There is no successor. It's, like, such a joke, dude. I don't know why he did that, it's so dumb. Like, I assumed he was going to use bots or get a software engineer to fudge it. But I guess he's not even that smart. It's so funny. What a dumbass. I normally hate on the system a lot more than, like, uh, people with, like, media presence, but Elon Musk, I feel like... The best thing you can do is turn him into, like, a Marie Antoinette. I keep saying that, but that's, like, basically how I feel about it. It's just, like, people, like, hate his, like... Because the problem with Marie Antoinette is that all the aristocrats behaved like her, but she was just really bad at hiding. Like, she was known for, um... Creating a life-size dollhouse that let her roleplay as, like, a village country girl to escape from her reality. Which is kind of understandable, but it's also extremely offensive in a time where people... I literally can't feed themselves. They don't even have mac and cheese. Like, their equivalent would be bread back then, right? It's like, dude, that is... That's the stuff that gets people to revolt against. Uh, we'll see. Elon Musk might end up fucking up that much. I mean, obviously, it's a systemic problem. It's not just him, but... You know, you know how it is. Like, people are motivated by having a character that they can focus their... Um outrage and frustration on yeah elon musk is definitely part of the problem such he's just such a dickhead too the thing is here's the thing like my point is all the billionaires are like that and the only one like jeff bezos uh like he got all of his money and power from um basically giving other online uh, merchants shitty contracts because they had to sell on Amazon because he would get lots of investor money and be unprofitable, but that would allow his company to grow to the point where he could force people into shitty contract positions to sell on his website. Or basically, they would not be allowed to sell there and they'd be bankrupt. So he's just his whole process was picking away at any competition until Amazon eventually becomes profitable from just owning the whole marketplace and charging whatever it wants, which is what it's doing now. Like, shit on Amazon is not cheap anymore. It's such a ripoff. That's essentially what he did. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's like some craftiness to that. I'd say of all the billionaires, he's like the most crafty, but like, it's not like he's a freaking genius though. You know, it's just simply uh, taking advantage of a broken system. Oh, and by the way, he got $100,000 from his parents, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the average mere mortal, the average 98% of people would never have that uh, resource available to them. So yeah, it's that's how it is. And I can I only bring that up because I think Jeff Bezos is the most self-made of the billionaires. There's a hundred thousand dollars into whatever does he have trillions now? And yeah, that's arguably self-made. Um, did he do it from absolutely nothing? No. Can the average person have that resource? No. Does the average person have I'm sure his parents had background in tech. I don't remember that specifically, but that's another useful resource. And he got to go to a tech school, which was extremely useful. Like you need a confluence of good happenstance to make that happen. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, anybody can make it, but the truth is somebody like me, who's like a hardcore pro, like I put myself through school and it was like nightmarish. I'm too, way too easily satisfied. Like I want just like a decent office job which makes like a good salary. And that's the thing, like you're, why take a risk? Because you've been taught to expect so little, right? Should our economy be based around uh, that kind of classist structure where anybody who does real work gets no reward? Yeah, you can try to fucking do that, but how uh, stable is that gonna be? That's a question for the future, I guess though. Like, is the U.S. going to be the next Roman Empire, or is it just literally, as, like, Marx points out, it's so unstable that, like, literally, we're looking at big problems in the near future? You sound like you're dying, man. I wish I could help you, man. Well, that's a lie, but... Paranoia is setting in. The paranoia is setting in. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe this is a bad time. But can we use your discontoder? I have such a problem. Like when I'm off caffeine, everything just I like I get so much more anxiety. Well, like I know it's the withdrawal, so it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, caffeine's not that serious of a drug, so it's like by next day you're feeling fine again, but. For me, it affects me quite a bit, so. Oh, he's Stone Cold Dead, you know. As long have we been going for? I usually throw in a rant like every hour. It's just uh, basically the amount I kind of want to see when I'm streaming. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Well, I take a little break, though. Turn on the AC. Oh no. Oh no. I can't turn away. What? Wait, stop it. Oh no. He's he's glitched. He's better. This is so awful. Yeah. I've never done any hardcore drugs like uppers, and I'm probably never going to. But, uh, alcohol withdrawal, I guess, yeah. I've had that, and it's definitely not fun. I'm sure this is, like, a much worse. That's the kind of emotions that you get when you're on withdrawal. Everything, especially if you're the kind of person who gets amped up a lot, and everything seems, like, positive, even if you're not really having a good time. And that goes away. When that goes away... You get these like great, and, like I wouldn't call them crazy thoughts, but it's so negative and like ridiculous. It's such a problem. You were never even gonna... I I like that little detail there. It's like that is a fairly honest portrayal of drug withdrawal. Um, for sure. I'm not a big alcohol. I the, the thing is, I love drinking alcohol. I just don't do it because it's terrible for you. Like I. 
I'll go to the bar after work if I have money, and I'll have a couple beers and I sip them. But I don't, I don't, I got, you know, obviously when I was very young, I would slam back a bunch just to try it. I never really experienced when I was younger, but it's kind of days or I've done it already. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Kudos to the base. Oh, we gotta fight him here. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break at this spot. Um, how long of a break is it gonna be? Should I pause the stream or what? I don't have a be right back, um, screen yet, so that's a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna make another cup of tea. Take a quick break. And uh, it's been an hour and a half. I feel like that's warranted. I don't want to end up like Wade where I've got the bum shoulder. Nice jungle though. What's this crystal shit? Is that just decorative or is this like you can climb on it? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a quick break here. Freshen up. I'll try to do a bit more. I feel like an hour and a half is not really long enough. We could switch games. That is a possibility. Let me look and see what kind of games we can do. I do want to finish this game, so I'm going to try to focus on it a bit. But mm. What to play? I'm just like, I like look at Omori and I'm like, no, it's too early for her to play, obviously. Lisa is an amazing game. It's fucking wacky. Um, yeah, that's tempting. I think, yeah, I definitely considering finishing my Earthbound 2 playthrough. It's like a good balance because this game's kind of like edgy, but Earthbound 2 is kind of like got. Uh, a different vibe so it'd be cool to like play them as contrast to each other but they're both sort of wacky worlds still too i feel like that would be a pretty interesting contrast although i'm sure the audience for both is very different i don't know man i like variety uh that's a possibility or maybe i'll just keep continuing this those are the two possibilities okay i'm gonna take a break you probably be back i won't put a time hopefully they'll get my minutes though. Alright, see you soon.
Low. Okay. So my new plan. I had a little, a little light bulb went on, and I was like, "Okay, this is a little high." A little light bulb went on, and I thought, "Well, maybe my situation would be improved with the audio dropping if I had a dedicated audio device, because it doesn't drop the camera, right?" This probably will not help, and I might have to troubleshoot anyways, but this is, I think, a higher quality microphone than what I was using. It's my brother's who was kind enough to lend it to me, because although I do not have lots of money, and I'm a, the hardest corporal in the land, I do have the small benefit that poor people have of actual social support. So he's letting me borrow his mic, which he uses for uh, doing D&D streams. So I, this might become the way I have to do it, because obviously dropping audio when you're talking about something that you like or care about is super unfun it's just not a good feeling uh i think you can all emphasize with that do i want to switch games uh yeah so i think earthbound 2 would be the other choice um uh let's see if i can even get it running before I commit too much to that. I should have my saves from earlier, so. Ooh, yeah, I don't have. I don't have the emulator to do Earthbound on here yet, though I think I do have my saves. So that probably won't happen right now. That's fine. That's pretty much what I expected. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep playing this then. Uh, I'm still going to take a little bit of a break, but I just thought I'd try out this strap. The audio might be better. Actually, I'm going to test to see uh, how that sounds. Just to make sure it's about right. Hello, 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 hello. It's pretty decent. Definitely a step up from what I had a minute ago. A minute ago. Yeah. It's... I'll have to polish this out a little bit more, but for now, that's good. Cool. So that's really loud. How about this somewhere in here? Good enough. I can't, obviously I can't afford like professional audio, so it's, uh, I'm doing my best out here in the wild, wild west. Um, okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna take another quick break because I wanna make some tea and then we'll just keep going with that. BRB.
Ooh, that's sensitive. Uh, do we need a noise gate? Probably. Let's throw that on. Hello? Hello, hello. How is that hissing? Let's try compressor. Hello? How's that? That sounds a bit better. Um, I think we want it a little out of the way because we don't want it to pick up any airy aspiration kind of noises. How's that? Hmm, okay. Yeah, that seems right. Cool. Yeah, ready to get started soon. Okay, let's just continue with this. Uh, I'll probably get Earthbound set up for tomorrow, and then I, I kind of want to do two games and switch between them to make sure that the uh, vibe is balanced out, if that's how you'd put it. Uh, this game's pretty like snarky and caustic, but maybe a little on the punchy side. I like to balance it out with some. I guess the good news is that Earthbound 2 has a sense of humor as well, so I guess there's no bouncing that out, but maybe that's, that's probably what we want, right? Alright, let's do this dumb boss fight. Mandatory boss fight. Holy, what's happening to me? Right into the brain dome. You can't act like the boss unless you're high whenever you're uh, in trouble. God, everyone was blaming um, Kanye's anti-Semitism on his drug use and his bipolar. I'm just like, yo. Being bipolar makes you more annoying, but it doesn't automatically make you anti-Semitic. That's, so, that's such a dumb argument. It's like, yeah, you have to be like that ahead of time and it amplifies it for sure. But so funny and these are the same conservatives who say that like oh you can't make everything a mental disorder or whatever but then they're like making apologies for kanye using the same logic like oh but he has a mental disease so we can't judge him fully it's like uh-huh or like that's why we're gonna have him on our shows because like yeah well, we, you know he's got a mental disorder but like he doesn't actually mean it so it's fine Clicking heads. Always be clicking. ABCs, man. Oh my god. And Alex Jones had him on his show. A lot of people did. I forget them all, honestly. But it's such like a ploy to push their audiences more right. They're like, oh, at least we're not as bad as this guy. But we, you know, that gives them an excuse to be worse. You know, because, like, compared to Kanye, at least we're not saying death con to the Jews. Some people tried to, like, uh, uh, do apologist stuff for that, too, which I thought was, like, really stupid. Funny. It's like, uh-huh. It's just, like... Oh, I remember the argument. Um, it was like, oh, death con's a reference to death con, which is the defensive posture, so it's not... 
I'm just like, oh my god, shut up. That's such, that's the worst argument. I got all my shit from Hasanabi, so if you want to learn more about that, at least watch his stream too. Maybe one day I'll go full news. Uh, but that might happen soon, we'll see. I think I might start doing that because it is hard to uh, talk about stuff you want to talk about and play at the same time. So it'd be nice to have like a little balance to do a new stream at some point. That could happen. What's with the cheerful music when he's dead? We did it. Hooray. Oh god. I'm really making... Yeah, you can... He's dead. You can go, go to town. Yeah, I'm not gonna deny him his pleasure just because it's weird. Now, killing people is wrong, but he's already dead, so. Ethically, it's really no. Morally, yes, it's messed up. But. New gun, who this? So we gotta use them to like climb stuff, right? Can we use them for combat or he's like a shotgun? Is that it? Oh yeah, he's pretty awesome. He's very satisfying, like jibs him. I don't wanna pretend like I don't care for a second. Oh, we can grapple to this. I see how it is. Oh, our best friend, Mr. Stinky Poopy Butthole. Go ahead. You gonna actually pull iron on me or? No. Wait, you're serious about killing me? I thought you were kidding. No. Ah. I wouldn't have killed him, but apparently he was serious about killing me, which is pretty fucked up, so. Well, now I got a death, I guess, which is almost as good. That reminds me of the scene in Andor. After the bank heist, uh, one of the characters that Andor's talking to tries to persuade him into running away with the money and I guess maybe killing everybody or something. And like, I thought he was kidding for so much. Like, I was so confused by that. And he's like legit and then Andor just shoots him. And I'm like, and, and to me, it looked like the actor is trying to show that, like, even his own character, he wasn't sure that he was being serious, but the moment he knew he was being serious, he just shoots him. I'm like, it's so weird. Like, that's totally something that would happen, though. The funny thing is, the main character in Andor is, like, people have, like, argued in film analysis that he becomes slowly more radicalized by characters as the film progresses, but everything he does is pretty radical from the beginning. Like, he never actually... Like, his speech, he, like, kind of, like, is skeptical about stuff vocally, but he never says actual no to doing anything. Like, he's more radical than most of the characters he meets. Which I thought was pretty ironic, or I don't know what that would be. Cool. Blast him. 
Uh, the uh, reload speed's a little slow on this gun, but it does jib them. Uh, not very good range, though. So, like, it's like a shock, basically. I want to use him for a bit, because like, he's new. Hello? Yeah, Andor was the cyberpunk movie I was looking for. And normally I don't like Star Wars, but I was just like, well, if I like it, Andor, I like Andor. If it's Star Wars, it's of no consequence to me, right? Um. It's so good. Maybe I've said this on stream before, but the guy who filmed Andor, uh... His inspiration was from, what's it called? It was from Stalin, but like there's like a specific biography. I think it's like Young Stalin or something like that. That's the, the biography or something. Uh, and Stalin used to bank rob for the Bolshevik revolutionaries um, back in the day. And those bank robberies are what inspired Andor, which I just thought was like great. Some actual fucking research. Real anti-establishment characters. Um, you know. It just makes it so much more relatable and less like action movie bullshit for sure. Okay, so I guess we gotta go home now. Should be. Oh, there's a portal. Oh, that's it for here? Okay. Oh, that was easy. Fred the Moblets. Feel good about that. Hey, maybe with this new mic, the audio won't drop anymore. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's like, it's like I leveled up and I got better equipment, right? Is that, is that how it is? Is that, that's how we should think about our lives. We're just characters in a gamified world where we're leveling up and earning better stuff. If we keep that mindset, this will all be more tolerable. We'll get through it together, folks. I hate myself for even saying that. Fuck that. Stop. It's the, uh, the jerk-off room. Oh my god. That's kind of a cool TV. Like, these are coming back. I know Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps wanted, like, a CRT like this. Is that a CRT? I don't know. I'm not a TV guy. Expert. But it looks cool for sure. I do have a, um, new keyboard because I needed something that was detached from my laptop. Um, here, oh, I, I'm sorry. This is, like, consumerist of me to do it, but... I wanted a good keyboard, so I did I did shell out for it. I do use it a lot. I didn't just buy it willy-nilly. There you go. But I got a Keychron K3 because it was pretty reasonably priced. I heard good things, but then I put in uh, banana switches. They have, like, a game trigger where it has pressure at the top of the bump, and then it releases early. So it's like pulling, like, a trigger on a controller. Uh, I think it just feels nice. Um... It also gives you an earlier feedback, so you release the key earlier, which is supposed to help with um, not bottoming out, not bottoming out the key. So I don't know about all that, but it is fun to click. Um, it's really pretty decently priced. It's probably the best keyboard you can get for that price range. I do have a dream keyboard, but maybe I'll talk about that later because I do want. I'm like learning to code and stuff, so not very good at it yet, but you know. Like I do it partially just because why not but yeah I like it it's a good keyboard it's very satisfying to use you know what I mean like that's definitely a plus the worst TV it's a corpse is corpse Well, I can't see it if I'm off to the side, Gene. The TV's too fucking far away. I'm blind. Oh, this is the T-Rex thing. Okay, so, like, my brother explained this to me because he watched the analysis on Dead Meat's podcast. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Uh, his brain gets stuck into a T-Rex, and they're in love, and it's, like, the worst plot ever in the universe. Literally, because we're in outer space. 
I haven't seen any TV that's... Well, the, the puppet TV show we saw earlier was maybe worse, arguably. Still, neither of them is worse than friends, so... What is going on? Why do I love it? I don't know if it's just me, but to me, like, the stereotype they've got this black actor playing is, like, such, like, an 80s, like, rush hour style dumb stereotype. I wonder when this movie was made. I assume, like, a while ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of hilarious, but... Anyways. Um, yeah. It's my new friend. He's got bling. What that purple stuff is. You have no comment. A wise, a wise person. Yeah, as soon as you start commenting, you look like a dumbass inevitably. Starting to slowly figure that out the more I stream. Yeah, turn in the bounty. Yep. Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. But there's no point to anything. Why does that matter? Yeah, how do you think Gus feels about that? Would you like it if people belittled you? That like Jean probably will do in a minute about her boyfriend. This is getting to the part where I haven't seen stuff, so. A deal? Oh, he did give me the suit. Sorry, I don't know how your species works here. Fiddling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. Gus. You seem like an okay dude, but there is like ground rules. Shitting on the couch would be ground rule one, maybe. And I have like maybe two more. That's it. Just don't break those rules. Of course, Gene can stay. He seems all right. He's rough around the edges, but. <laughs> I don't have to side with anybody. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry, my bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like Dougie Flimborg. Of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Tweaks harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not. Is it spacist, ma'am? I don't know anything about this tweet guy. She only texted me like 10 seconds. Like he could be a terrible parasitic race and I'd have no idea. Because this is the question I'm not equipped to answer, yo. I just have the balls to admit it. I guess I'll say he's a space racist. Okay, yeah, you got me there. Thank you. Oh, that worked out well. Minimal flack for me. This is easy for me. If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. How do you have boy trouble already? It's been like 10 minutes. There's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24 7. Hey, come on. That's a high estimate. Ew. I was just kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you going to say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Nui. Just get Gene like some sort of floaty space wheelchair in his own room. And then that would solve a lot of this problem. Hey. Um I'll side with Gene. Oh, that's just great. Tossing your own sister to the curb. 
the curb. You own this house virtually now that the parents are gone. Like, I don't think you need any extra support from me. You are the established elite, the landed elite now, Lizzie. It's my duty to oppose you at every turn. Just kidding. It's my duty. It's my duty to... I have no idea. To kill more people for money. I don't want to revisit planets. I saw everything in it because I slowly looked around, which probably does not get me clicks, but I can't help myself. Okay. Douglas. Caffeine's kicking in and making my nose sniffly. Uh. Hmm. Ooh, this planet's cool. The Busted Desert Blazeland is a club name. Busted Desert. I think the rest is a little wordy. Ooh. Drugs. A beacon of hope. In the, uh, arid, the arid environment of despair. Whoa, uh, whoa? whoa. Uh, a, a, a few bugs. A few, a few bugs, perhaps. What? Yo, I just got glitched. Leave me alone. Give me a second here. This is a cool level. Man, these aliens look tasty too. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm like, oh, I look at that, I'm like, man. I got a bunch of old chicken wings in the fridge. I'm gonna eat those, I think. I made them at home. This is my kind of guy, man. I love hanging out at a nice, uh, well decorated bar and just relaxing. I usually ordered beer because it's very sippable. And of course it's a little cheaper. There's some decent beers out there. Although most of the time I just default to Stella or because everybody has that and it's like pretty good. It's fine. It's drinkable. I'll try the craft beers too, but honestly I it's been a minute because I this job does not afford me the luxury of sitting at bars and drinking beers because we have like uh, alcohol packs here and it's outrageous. Yo, you gonna keep hiding? Real cool. Oh my god, got a funky tongue. Dude, they look tasty. Oh, shouldn't have said that. I scared it away. Sorry, my nose is acting up. Man, I mean, I think I wouldn't mind living in Vegas. Yeah, I'm gonna. I've got some medicine for my nose. I'm going to take. I'll be right back.
Hello, it's working. I am very much happy that the audio appears to be actually working now. That is a huge plus. I don't think it's gonna crap out anymore. This probably fixed it. This is a better mic anyways. I should have just done this. I Like everybody, I don't like asking for uh, borrowing things or whatever, even if it's my brother, which is kind of dumb, but I'm sure people can relate to that. We all like to do favors for other people, but then we don't like to have favors done for us. Um, but it is much better, Mike. This is very appreciated. I might have to tweak it because it's probably a little too sensitive, but we'll work with that as we go along. I like Gus. Um, he's, um, out to enjoy life and be radical at the same time, which I am all about that. Uh, my favorite streamer... I'm watching a lot of Saikuno recently. I didn't want to talk about this, but my mind's instantly drawn to it. See, I don't like shit-talking on streamers, and a lot of the big streamers just won't do it because it's just fake drama and it looks bad. But I'm such a small streamer and nobody watches me that I kind of feel like it doesn't matter. Um... I was trying to get into Toast because he like plays with Saikuno a lot and they are like from the old gang. But man, he says some really unhinged stuff sometimes and I just, I can't do that. Like, um, I don't know. Like they were comparing and like, you can look up the podcast too if you want to judge for yourself. I guess that's fair. And so don't take my word for it, but whatever. And, like, they're comparing um, how people say there's too many Asian people on offline TV to, like, if somebody said that in, like, a black community or something. And they would immediately, like, people would push back on that because it's Asian, it's okay. Which is, like, a fair point. That is a difference. But then they said that it was due to there being, like, a tier list in the culture where it's, like, culturally Asians are, like, S tier. They're, like, the model citizen. It's, like, exactly what they said. And they didn't say the rest of it, but it's implied. And my problem with that is that it makes it out like it's a cultural thing. It's like there is material disadvantage that a lot of minorities face, which has nothing to do with culture. Like, I, it's just the mentality that it's like, oh, it's unfair because of like a stereotype or it's purely cultural. I'm like, how isolated are you from reality that you think that's the only reason that people suffer disadvantage? Like, there's tons of materialistic examples. Like, Asians just, on average, are more educated than even whites, I think. Can I say whites? I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, my stance on that is that I believe that's all true. I am honestly on board for reparations just because people denying the... the, the to be blunt, slavery has not been a disadvantage to people, I think is so absurd that reparations maybe are in order for that. Right? Some amount. Um, I was going to say something else. What was it? Yeah, I, at the end of the day, I am democracy and parole first. Like, for instance, there's a, a stat that maybe most people don't know, but it's well verified that it's much better to be like upper middle class and like a minority than it is to be like white just in general. Right. So it's like it's more disadvantageous to be poor than it is to be a minority group when it comes to things like health, uh, length of living, edu uh, chance of you achieving education. The problem is, and that's the thing about Black Lives Matter that I do like, is that it puts the focus on, like, look. The problem is, is that minority groups are used as a place where they can safely put the boot on people and sharpen up the resources to just keep all people down. Generally poor people, but, like, not even just, like, you know, like, nowadays it's, like, poor people's, like, a large chunk of the population. Unemployment's, like, really high. Middle class is shrinking. So it's just, like, people. And so we need, they create these scapegoats. And that's why it's, it is super important to recognize that 
and if you can facilitate change, right? Because it's like after they go for the black, the black, if black people, and after that they maybe they go for homosexuals, and then they go for Jews. Kanye is trying to go for the Jews now, and people are using them as a tool to push people more to the right. Trans people are obviously the place where they're trying to get their foothold in, but it's not working very well, so they're moving on to Jews now because they're fucked. Um, and but here's the thing eventually and in Nazi Germany this happened they move from that and then they go on to the unemployed anybody who just doesn't bootlick or work specifically for the capitalists and the fascists becomes criminalized and marginalized and, and then they extend it to everybody it's just an excuse to put their toe in and then the whole boot comes down that's how it is so you have to recognize that if you let scape, you know, people become scapegoats, then it starts to extend to everybody eventually. It comes back and it'll get you too, unless you happen to be extremely privileged. Which I'm going to assume by sheer statistics that if anybody's watching me, the chances that you're extremely privileged are small. Maybe you believe you are, but more likely than not, it's brainwashing. I know so many people who are like, oh, I hate leftist politics because they're going to take away the tiny amount of equity I have in my house. I'm like, that's not, that's not what socialists, they don't come in. It's like private property, like, you know, factories, means of production and stuff that they think should be, you know, people should be democratically participating in. Uh, the workers should have a share of it. It's not your house. There's no workers working at your house generally, unless you own a mansion, right? That's, it's absurd. But people believe that they're, they're, they've been brainwashed into thinking that they're very high class when they're not, I guess, because, you know, their parents are like, you know, put them through university or paid for some of the university or whatever. Which, I mean, to some degree, it's true, but it's no reason to uh, side with like people who are very elite and actually have can play the game. That's just silly. Hmm, I've successfully been streaming for the two hour mark. I like it. I'm told you're supposed to stream for three hours. Just, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, I don't really care. I love this desert sound, it's like so calming. It's very nice. I used to listen to a lot of calming music when I was in school because, like, it helped keep me on a rhythm. Like a good little worker robot. Let me forget about my, my woes. I like synth wave and stuff at the time. Now I like much more annoying music because I'm out and I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. But I still have a, lot of a taste for synth wave, though. For sure. Now I like, um, I guess people might be called. I call it like cyberpunk music, but you could call it like dark synth or industrial synth or whatever. I like that a lot. But uh, I think I talked about this last stream, but I've got some Japanese style tea. It's the American knockoff stuff, so it's not quite the same quality, but it is imported. It's way too expensive for what you get, but I have to drink green tea because I can't have anything else. It's too acidic. But I like it. I'm definitely getting an acquired taste for it. Usually have it in a green glass or a see-through glass so I can see the green. It's kind of like kind of glows. It's cool looking. I like it. I hope if there's anyone watching there having a good day. Um, my dream is maybe one day if this ever comes even to like a mild passive income or whatever. It's not passive. I'm working for it. So I don't know why I said that, but some kind of income um because the thing is i like the job i'm doing but it pays literal minimum wage and they need like i'm way overqualified for it like i instruct programming and it's it's great that they have somebody with like i have a math degree and like i i i i'm teach myself a lot of things so i know how to teach but the pay is so bad and like there's no future right it doesn't like it looks okay on the resume but but I, you know, I wouldn't mind staying here, but the problem is, it's like, I got, 
and I want to move to Norway. So it's like, but I, I would hope that maybe I can get some money doing this. Um, maybe some people will subscribe eventually. That'd be nice because it would be ideal. It would free me up to do more political activism too, which uh, would be cool. Because in, in Canada, the uh, Starbucks employees are trying to unionize. That'd be a, obviously a first thing to get involved in. Maybe do like video interviews, um, try to put some journalist articles out there to drone support, talk to them and see if they need anything. I would love to do that. But my income is like so insecure right now that it's like, it's kind of feels like it's impossible. You know, I don't have the resources. Like that's the thing is like a lot of revolutionary activity uh, requires class traders. Um, Marx himself is like a class trader. His father was a factory owner or something like that. He was definitely like a business owner of some sort. I kind of forget the details, but sue me, right? Uh, uh, but and like Hasanabi is also a class trader. Like he admits like he's fairly privileged. I mean, he went to an elite prep school, so more than fairly, pri fairly privileged, I'd say. Uh, and that's fine. Like, I think Hasanabi is a true class trader. Um, we need more. Sh we need more than that, though. Um, I, I kind of subscribe to the idea that professional agitators are probably necessary. So if, you know, if you subscribe, you could be spawning a professional agitator. Just saying. Got to sell it somehow, right? To be fair, as a counterpoint, I think the 2001 Arab Spring Revolution didn't require professional agitators. So maybe the things have changed since, you know, Lenin's period or uh, the French Revolution kind of era, era, which is a lot earlier. But maybe that's not the case anymore. But yeah, it doesn't hurt to have people who can be paid just to do it full time, right? Who knows? Like, I make speculations about stuff, but it's, like, obviously speculations about the future, how things are going to play out. It's just nobody knows. It's fun to think about it, though. I love these desert sounds, man. I'm just, like, vibing here. I don't even want to do anything. It's so chill. What's this? Is this content? No, I'll keep playing. I'll, I'll continue playing it, man. Like about like every hour or so, take a little break, either monologue or just relax for a minute. Especially if there's something new to look at. I might be switching to news soon too, I don't know. I'm just going to do whatever inspires me. I do want to like commit to finishing things to a certain degree because that's what I would want to see. But... That doesn't mean I have to gun through it all at once either, though. I mean, everyone hates waiting, but it kind of makes it like it builds the anticipation. That's fine. I was talking about Saikuno. Um, oh, and Toast. Damn it. Every time I think about Saikuno, it's like I remember my... Because I would watch clips of Toast. Cause, and like I was being very fair about it. Like I wanted to get into him, but... I hate ripping on people, but like I'm so small. I feel like it's totally punching up and it doesn't matter. Well, like, yeah, he says some of his stuff. I've mentioned that. Oh, yeah, I already mentioned the stuff with Scar. That was. Yeah, it's just weird. It's like that. It's like very isolated opinion. You know, self-absorbed. That's the thing about Toast is he's completely recursive and like self-absorbed. And what's the other word for that? Like almost solipsistic, like nothing matters outside of his own little thought process, which is just. And then he did the boxing thing. So I watched the boxing tournament. And I was like, oh, so he's trying to go out there and have a lot more real life experiences to sort of like round himself out. No, he used that boxing tournament as like a duel to put himself as an elite person who had like a privileged experience. Of, he's an Aristo wannabe. I just, I gave him like all the benefit of the doubt. Like I wanted to like him because he's, he plays with a lot of the other viewers, you know, the streamers that I kind of like, like I, I like Sekuno. Um, I think he's pretty funny. He's even gotten 
less snarky with his chat and more well-rounded and funny generally as time went on, which is cool. Jacksepticeye also got more funny too, I think. Um, I like watching Valkyrie. She she goes on Hasanami's channel and ducks politics aggressively all the time, which I think is very... I get it. Like, to be honest, I respect that to a certain degree because if you don't talk politics and you don't want to, it's better to, to duck it and be kind of humble about it to a certain degree than to do, like, wacky shit where you're just like, oh, I'm the best um you know small streamers suck i know what i'm talking about just because i got lucky that shit's annoying like at least valkyrie doesn't do that which is cool i want to see her play Yu-Gi-Oh though just throwing that out there valkyrie i want i know it's so dorky but come on valkyrie you're a dork we're all dorks let's admit it yeah got it you just have to own it plus people want to see Yu-Gi-Oh. do we i do I'm a person. I'm just saying, please play Yu Gi Oh! It's so funny to watch. I think I forgot to change the stream title. Oh no, it should be the same from last time. It's fine. Drugs, 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 everybody. I'm the worst, because, like, man, I fucking love caffeine. I love alcohol, but, like, I just know that shit's super bad for you. My dad liked to drink about. My mother called him an alcohol. I've said this story before, but my mother called him an alcoholic, and I think that's a bit of a stretch, but he did like to drink. Um, my problem with alcohol generally is that, yeah, of course the withdrawal sucks. That's, you know, the hangover sucks, obviously. My major problem is that when you drink it, everything's very repetitive. You talk about the same shit that you talked about the last time that you drank every fucking time. And it becomes very repetitive. They actually, there's this, there's the science behind it that it just, it, it, it gets your brain firing in very predictable patterns every time. Which, that's the worst. To me, that's like the most unfulfilling part that's why i don't do it a lot dangerous sandworms poisonous saliva oh that looks nasty so i guess don't go that way you get eaten oh there's like a corpse or something out there we're gonna get killed if we go this way but i want to look around a bit because i actually think this level's pretty cool it's pasteurized it's cute hey gus how's it going poisonous Gus's vibe just makes me want to go to a bar and relax. Oh, yep. I know game. Okay, that was worth it. That's that's fucking worth it. That was horrifying and adorable. I'm I'm very conf I have confused feelings about that. Definitely worth it. <laughs> Oh, we got moved forward. I don't know if he's talking about the YouTube videos where they like they go out into the so-called jungle and they like carve out like hot tub pools and stuff by hand. Those are all faked, by the way. I'm sorry if anyone on the internet like thought those are real because I saw them before too. And then I watched a video showing that like, yeah, they use excavators and stuff. They just do it off camera. And they usually do it like outside of um like you know like a city in cambodia it's not like deep in the jungle they just rent a piece there and then they abandon it once they're done making it and they have like 20 guys doing it but they only show like two like maybe the detail work is done by hand but that's it though i'm sorry look it up they're definitely fake um there's like one real guy on the entire internet and everyone just copied him and made it like fake not surprising i guess i don't know it's not a big revelation but Everything on the internet is fake. TV is fake. Um, 
if that annoys you greatly, I'm going to go stand on my podium and high horse for a sec. I'm just going to say, like, read some literature because you'll find that there's a lot more depth and substance to really good authors are good at writing that into stuff. Um, if that annoys you, unless you don't care, like Hasanabi loves watching reality TV. I don't get it, but the problem is, is that even the real stuff in reality TV is still fake on some kind of metaphysical level, right? Only because all of North American culture is fake as hell, right? So it's like, even the real stuff is fake. It's like, this is how it is, right? Like a funny thing is, is that in my opinion, if you go to other cultures like Norway, or even Japan to some degree, people know TV is fake. They don't take it seriously like we do here. Like they just know it's goofy. It's like basically puppets talking and they don't take it seriously. It's just mindless sort of stimulation. But here, Americans have the brain rot where they think, oh, but there's like a crumb of truth to everything. And it's like, no, TV is like mega fake, man. I feel like I've been ranting the, the correct amount of time. So we're probably gonna move on after this one. I like watching rants from streamers, so I try to throw something in there once in a while, because, right? Why not? If you don't, if you're not in the mood for it, you can skip past it or go back and watch it later or whatever. It just spices things up, right? Obviously, it's just, you know, stuff I've seen or my opinion or whatever. It is that thing, though. They're fake, though. It's 100% stair base. Uh, you know, you, you and I, all three of us right now, we can start digging stairs. Uh, uh, we have a nice staircase down into the ravine, across the ravine. We dig a Manager's stairs. dumbass, too, hot tech. People are going to burn some calories. That's what. People are going to be fucking healthier because of our fucking stairs. Not because of goddamn support beams or a bridge or any of this other bullshit we've been ranting about. Stairs are going to give us, not only are going to make people healthier. Yeah, the problem with the world is that we just don't have enough stairs. Everything would be better if we just had a few more stairs. It's really dumb. Rant number two. Let's give him, you, you, let's give him his time. All right, okay, door frames. You know, look, I know out here building a fucking, you know, way to get across this ravine, maybe not as important as what you two guys are talking about, but I just, I, I love door frames. I'm just a door frame kind of guy. It's my favorite thing, you know? Uh, you know, who wants a fucking door without a frame? You know, and I like the pretty ones with the, uh, you know, those sort of pretty little uh, patterns around it. What are they called? Uh, who cares what they're called? You know what? They're pretty and I like them. And, uh, you know, you guys know Fair. that. And, you know, you know. It reminds me of, uh. The little, um, I don't know what they're called, but in Japan they have the little gates uh, that you can pass through. They have like some kind of religious significance. I think that's Shintoism, possibly. I don't know nothing about them, but they look cool. Um, it's kind of a door frame with no door. It's just pure door frame. This is obviously a joke at how like people build their identity over like a stereotype and it's like who you are is in relation to like the brand of who you are next to and like people are like brands is like a constellation of products and you're defined by your difference towards the guy to the right like one guy's like snarky and makes a lot of like mean spirited humor and you're different than that i fucking hate that shit man <laughs> Obviously, like, I'm sure I come across as, like, a certain stereotype, but, like, I try to play against that if that is true. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, like, people are all very complex, and it's just... Having a thought process where you brand people is, like, fucked up. I actually hate that. I've met so many people at bars who have that attitude, and by God. And the worst part is they're the most fucking aggressive, arrogant brickheads, too. And you end up having to like, and they just won't leave you alone either. It's, that's so annoying. Anyways, this game's obviously poking fun at that a little bit. 
like, oh, I'm this kind of brother. Uh huh. It's like, uh, you haven't really revealed anything truly about your personality yet. So I can't say for or against that, honestly, but I just kind of am skeptical, right? <laughs> I find this see I like rants I just this rant isn't even that good and I still like it that's just how I am so I hate rant a lot in my streams cuz you know yes <laughs> this isn't even good but I just find it so I'm absorbed okay okay let's 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 interrupt this You get physical the moment someone walks up to you, dude. Okay. Are you kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a mac and cheese brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around? Maybe I am. You don't know that. There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. I could be in disguise. Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? I don't think so. We got work to do. Okay, dipshit, get the fuck out of here, asshole. You know? Hey, fuck you, you piece of shit. Dipshit, that's my insult. You can't steal my insults. Insult me more, please. That's what I came here for. Okay, okay, god, god damn, you're annoying. Holy cannoli. Yikes, bro. Bro. <laughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. God, they're annoying. That was funny, though. That was just worth it. Oh, I can't use you. Huh. I guess I got uh, this, little, this little maneuver. Nah, oh, we don't kill them with that. Are you kidding me? Fucking annoying, but I've met way more annoying people. I love how they've got like annoying people in this game, and like maybe it's just me, but I'm just like, and then they're like, "Did you want to kill them? Did you want to kill them?" And I'm like, "Dude, I've met people who are twenty times more annoying in my life." And it's just like, I, I'm sorry, it's like fucking people in real life. Oh my god, people are such dickheads, especially if they're from like LA or some shit like that. We we all know, even people from LA agree with that. It's like people in LA can be fucking annoying and dickheads. Um, What's the plan? Well, just like in general. Oh, you can just do this, eh? We can't do it from here. Bah. Oh, it's just for money. Lame. I wasted my life getting this useless token. That says something. Where the fuck do I go? Over here? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Oh my dude. These guys are so annoying. Kinda like it though. Dude, you're the fucking asshole. Dude. Not even, it's just like... I, I would say you're a poser more than anything, what the fuck? It's just constant. More money. I don't even want to collect these because it's so pointless. Do we need money for anything? Oh, we get paid for the bounties, so we should have reserve. I'm very happy that I think the audio is going to be fixed now, so that should be a huge improvement.
Aha. Down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Oh, yeah, he is. I believe you. Um, <laughs> do we need his help? I'm sure there's literally no laws in this town. Yep. That's kind of not likely. It's like you'd think there'd be like a sheriff or like the largest trading companies here would have rules. Because it's like there is examples of that happening in history. Like the Dutch East Indian Trading Company was like more powerful than any government but they had their own rules and they hired their own armies and mercenaries and shit like is it free from galactic law no they just you now have a corporation who makes rules instead and it's much worse like the dutch east indian trading company um one of the at some point during their existence, their literal plan was to just go to an island in Southeast Asia and just kill everybody on the island and replace it with slave labor because they're getting into slave labor because it's, it's cheaper. So they're like, okay, let's do this. They're just, that was their plan. It's straight up. I forget if they did it or not, but whatever. I'll remember you, Grundy. Always in my heart. Whenever I have a warm fart, I'll scream out, Grundy. Old Grundy. Strong Moog in there. He's got quite the chin on him. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, I did watch all of the um, chess boxing tournament, the Mogul Moves chess boxing tournament. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it got me trying to rewatch Toast, and obviously I kind of had a negative experience with that, but um, generally speaking, I, I liked Myth's performance. The song liked Myth's performance. Um, I don't know if it was my favorite fight, but Hassan raved about it because he likes dodging. Myth is extremely good. I will say, well, he's not quite as good as Michael. Obviously, he would beat Michael in a fight because he's bigger, but that's not what I'm talking about. Like, straight skill, he probably is a little bit uh, under that. But he'd obviously beat him still. Not, there's no questioning that. But, like, he has a very, very, Myth has a very good straight and jab and like everything right um very good his hook needs a lot of work it's too slow like he hooks constantly like he's punching the body with like a lot of fall through but it's not enough whippiness to actually cause like knockout damage to the head so that was probably his biggest weakness uh he also does, it's not very good at counter hooking like stepping backwards and hooking around the person's guard and like using his reach which he could probably have improved but he, he knew what he wanted to be good at, and he polished it so he could use it in the fight, and that was really awesome. And, um, Turdly, I think, was his opponent. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. 
Uh, and yeah, kudos to him too, because Myth was obviously, it takes a lot of guts to go up against somebody that you know is the favorite. Like, I think Churdly knew that Myth was like probably gonna beat him. So kudos to him. And he, and he gave Myth a good fight to show off his skills in. And Churdly has chin, like he's got pretty fucking good chin. So that was cool. Um, I believe his punch is really strong, except for Churdly just did not have the accuracy and the footwork to actually land any powerful punches so it's like power is useless if you can't right so that was by you know, that's what it is um yeah but generally speaking myth was really good uh hassan was like really buttering up his dodges and like his dodges were good but he wasn't very good at like he would dodge a couple and maybe get hit a little bit by the third so it wouldn't give him a lot of counter attack room so it could use some polish but he's a new so obviously he's still really good um, I, I think if, when he's pulling back with the dodge, he should probably duck under with the body so that he can, like, come up and around and get a chance to, like, get an opening. Um, maybe that would be the way to go. Uh, train that little movement there. Um, but, yeah, you know, whatever. He's just starting. He's, like, a really good for where he's at, of course. It was a good fight to watch, so that was cool. Yeah, I've learned that... Boxing does not necessarily make you any better or round out your personality or make you more grounded. I was wrong about that. Like I thought that would happen with Ghost and I had to rethink my position in life generally because I was like, you know what, that's just wrong. Um, it's good for you if you love the sport, but Toast just does not love the sport of boxing. He just doesn't. Like he did it because he thought Michael looked cool while he was doing it, I guess. And he didn't really train as much as he probably should have. And he did it mostly to give himself... Like, he wanted it to be traumatic. So it was like a... Um, like an elite experience. That's how I felt about it. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's just an opinion, man. It's like, whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. Toast will never watch this video. But I guess, to be fair, I'll just say, like, look, dude, stop being so recursive. Like, go check out other people's ways of thinking because you're getting to the point where it's like you have to inject sincere experiences into your life to like keep the whole decadent you know thought process continuing and it's like dude that's that's a bad road to go down that's all i'm saying like i'm glad that he's like kind of understands he needs to have more experiences but it's like dude but you can't just use it to feed your own like recursive solipsistic thinking that's my high horse thing for her that should i i'm like i'm so small i feel like it doesn't matter if i rip on like who's ever gonna see it who cares this video if i if i ever get big i guess i'll just delete this video because i feel bad <laughs> why not i'm so small fry it's like i feel like it's just punching on the old guard Nothing wrong with a little bit of that. Obviously, I'm not saying I don't have flaws, right? I want to hear them, though. <laughs> okay, okay. Constructive criticism is probably okay. That's fine. I'll hear that. Uh-huh. Diverse. Thanks for selling the game to me, my dude. It's uh, kind of... Desperate, but we'll we'll go with that. That's fair. That's fair. Are you... I hear these drones count. Like, why do they count as enemies? They're so pathetic. Like, enemies should count. I laugh if that was the only thing I actually had to kill. Oh, there's shit over here. I wish I was drunk right now. I get bombarded with fucking alcohol advertisements on YouTube. I fucking hate it like i actually want booze and i don't like don't but i just can't drink like that i don't feel like it it's just like dude why 
I don't mind at a bar with a beer, but... Okay, they're not saying anything. I was hoping they'd have, like, a wacky conversation, but... You gotta shove your testicles aware. That just sounds pain. I didn't even hear what he said. But that just sounds like it would be painful, maybe. I mean, I, maybe he likes that, I guess. I don't know. Die, please. Dude, fast bar so snilla. Completed our mission. Sounds good to me. I'm so happy the audience working now. It's just like it's way easier to get in the groove. This guy. This guy's one of those like, those like secret radical dudes that hates everybody. Like, that's the thing, man. Is everybody fucking hates the system? You're just not allowed to say it. That's what I think. A like spontaneous revolutionary feelings arise on their own, right? And it, it, it like you can have agitators and power people, but the truth is people just don't like. It. Like, I talk to a lot of people, in Canada at least, and, like, they know the score. They know that it's, like, mac and cheese and, like, boring jobs for most of your life, and it's grim. And, like, they'll usually be like, oh, I really wish I could get rich because then I could travel to Thailand or whatever and pet the elephants, and that would be really cool. But it's like, but deep down inside they say that because they know that their future is just fucking grim. Maybe their children have a slightly better future in the pecking order, but it's kind of just sucks it's awful that's how a lot of people are man anyhow the g3 really spruced up drag town you can get anything you want down there drugs sure sex yeah those are the only two things i can think of oh wait laptops you can get laptops i bet drugs sex and laptops that's drag town baby uh -oh. You think in the future they'd solve the drug thing by, I don't know, brain VR or something? Or like, you know, the drugs and the sex thing they could solve with like brain VR. You know, just plug it straight into your, your brain port. Let's just have simulated drugs and... This is like retro future or whatever, right? Like they have space travel, but they don't have shit like that. This guy has a phone, however. Say that. He's just he's just vibing. We get it. You're super evil and not likable. At least I didn't make the bad guys cooler than the good guys in here. Did my game crash? Oh no, it's loading a new area. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> How many drugs are you on, my dude? Uh, I watched the last podcast on the left, and there was a podcast about somebody who did like the Melio side. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it was really dark and disturbing, and I'm not going to talk about that right now. But yeah, last podcast on the left. I used to smoke too. I hate looking at smoking because I'm like, oh no, I'm going to fucking smoke and vape. Oh my god, I'm so bad. It's horrible, man.
It's very quiet here. Expecting more annoying banter, you know? They're <laughs> blurred out. Vort 4. Why? Uh-huh. Okay. That's funny. I love how it's like no explanation, they just are. Guys, uh, having a bit of a bad day. Ooh, look at that shoulder definition. This guy could be a boxer. Maybe. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice little view here. Oh! Uh, I think we're pretty much nearing the three hour mark, which is kind of the goal I had set for the stream. I really like this area. I think it's cool. So I think I'm going to save it, I guess. This, this is the kind of the area where I'm going to look around a little bit just to look at all the detail that the art team put into it. Um, this does remind me, I, I kind of want to throw out a compliment to Cyberpunk because I do rip on it a lot. The art direction in Cyberpunk 2077 is very good like this is not bad but it like when you compare the games yeah cyberpunk 2077 is a step above everything else in art direction i just admit it credit where it's due um there's a lot about the game that was a little more disappointing but oh shit uh man i'm triggering convos oh man i want to listen to those later they're probably funny frick but yeah i could stream 2077 that's actually really tempting i might do that as my fun game along with earthbound once i'm done this because i want to do like a fun game with comedy and then like a more serious game that's more story focused and kind of have those two going on so we can get variety i don't want to like that's a terrible idea because are you going to get an audience because you're going to alienate people either way but that is what I want in a stream, so I'm gonna do what I want, or what I would want. I just don't know how to do anything else, so that's how it's gonna be, I think. I'm gonna try to stick to finishing games that I start, because I, I also get annoyed if people don't finish their streams. Uh, these are all on YouTube, so you can watch uh, complete streams from the past. If you want, I upload them there because I like to watch VODs myself. So I figure why not? I'm probably weird like that, but whatever. This is definitely a cool vibe though. Okay, I think that's it for now. We're pretty much nearing the three hour mark, which is about what I was going for. Uh, I will be here tomorrow because I'm trying to set a schedule. The goal is 3.30ish PM. I want to set that because that's about when I get off work. Am I really going to come stream right after I get off work? Maybe not, but it'll be around that time going forward. And definitely I'm going to try to do that around tomorrow. Might be a little earlier. Might be noonish. Middle of the day sometime. Sorry, I can't be any more specific to anybody who's watching this. But yeah. There will... Well, okay, maybe I won't stream if there's like the Christmas party going on tomorrow. Because I'm not too sure. Because we're having guests over at some point. I forget when they're coming. Uh... I will stream, unless I'm mega tired. If there wasn't guests, I'd definitely, okay, you know what, probably tomorrow, around noonish, 3 p.m.-ish. It will iron out the schedule later. Okay, bye-bye. Let's, uh, I'm gonna quit, because I don't want, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, see you later, and have a good rest of your day.